Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the equation of this plane. Find the equation of this plane when it's parallel to this vector here. It's parallel to this vector and it passes through this point and this point. So, so find the equation of this plane. So press pause and, uh, and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, this vector uh, being parallel to this plane, well, you can imagine this vector here as, as, as lying on top of a plane, on top of this plane here. And this plane here is, uh, is parallel to this, meaning that this vector here, well, remember this vector here, um, uh, this vector here lies, in, you can imagine it as being able to lie anywhere on this plane that's parallel to the one above it. So, because the top plane, because the top plane is parallel to the bottom plane, you can actually move it up here, and 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 uh, and it will lie on top of your plane. So this vector here will lie on top of your plane. So you can think of it as being able to, uh, you can slide it anywhere on top of your plane. So you can move it here. So so the idea here, the idea here is to um, hang on. So so the idea here is to um, to uh, to work out. Bear with me. The idea here is to to obtain these two vectors here. So so you've got you've got the uh, the vector here which is given by this, and uh, and the idea here is to obtain this vector. And then once you've got this once you've got these two vectors, use a cross product that will then give you this new vector, and this new vector will be parallel, um, will, will will be perpendicular. Sorry, will be perpendicular to these two vectors. And then once you've got this. Then set up a point, a general point P, X, uh, Y, Z, and then and then and then work out this vector here. And then in, in order for us to describe this plane, we would demand that to the um, the dot product of this purple vector uh, and 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 this uh, and this normal vector to be normal uh, to be zero. So so in order to describe this plane, we would demand that this vector that that the dot product of this vector and this vector to be zero. So let me guide you through it. Let's let's start all over again. So we're we're told that we we we're asked to find the equation of this plane. Um. So so this is our this is our vector here. So so the plane being parallel to to this vector here, we can move the vector that was down here earlier to up here. So now uh, now now we need to obtain this vector. So to obtain this vector, um. Don't forget, this is our point here, and uh, and this is our point here. So to obtain to obtain this vector, to obtain this vector, it would be this take away this. That will then give you this. So to travel from p zero, this is p zero here, to uh, to p one, to to travel to p one here, it would be it would be this take away this. That will then give you this. This take away this. That will then give you this. This take away this. That will then give you this. Uh, so, so this vector here, so this vector here is given by, by, by this, and then this vector here is given by this. So let's uh, let's compute the uh, the cross product. That will then give us this vector here. So computing the the cross product. Uh, so this thing will then be this, and this will then be this. So to compute the cross product. We would do this. Our eyes should zoom into the eye, and then discard, discard, and we'll work out this. So that would be this times this. Take away this times this, which will be zero. And then, and then it would be, dis uh, and then our eyes should zoom into the J hat, and then discard, 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 and then look at these four. Uh, that would then give you five. And then look at this. Uh, discard, discard. Um, look at this. That will then give you this, and we've done this. So, so computing the cross product will then uh, will then give you this. So, what this represents is this. Hang on. So, we've got a we've got a hang on. Bear with me. We've got a, we've got our vector here. We've got our vector here. Computing the cross product, which then gave us this. This thing here represents this uh, this uh, normal vector. That's that is um, perpendicular to this plane here. Okay, so so now we've got our our normal vector here. So uh, so to describe this plane here, we would set up a general point. Let's call it uh, P X Y Z. Um, so so we would need this vector here. 
we would need this factor here. So to obtain to obtain to obtain this factor, we would we would get remember this point here, this point here is floating in in the middle of nowhere. This is our this is our origin. So to 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 get a, to get the vector from here to here, we would get this take away this. So we would get x take away negative two, which would be which would be this. So to to obtain this factor here, uh, hang on, x y z, uh, we would get y take away this, which would then give us this, and then z take away uh, negative three, that would then give you this. So this vector here represents from p zero. This is this is p zero right here to uh, to the general point p to the general point p. So uh, so this vector here is given by given by this. And don't forget our uh, uh, so 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 to describe this plane here, we would demand that um, that the the vector here, hang on, we would demand that this vector here. The, we would de to describe this plane. We would demand the dot product of this vector and this vector to be zero. So we would demand that the uh, the dot product of the normal vector and that vector to be zero. So we would compute the uh, the no the uh, the dot product. So the normal here would be this vector. The uh, the uh, the p zero to the to p would be this. So uh, so computing the dot product would be this times this, that would be zero, uh, plus uh, this times this, that would be this, and then uh, plus this times this, that would then give you this. So now divide everything by, uh, and remember, we, we are demanding the, the dot product to be equal to zero in order to describe, in order to describe this plane. Okay, so, uh, so now divide everything by, looking at this, divide everything by five, that will then take you to here. This is a single number, throw it on the other side, so your equation uh, for the plane is given by this. Okay.